Greetings! This is a brief tutorial on how to get into Wild Thing and then from Wild Thing into Wheel. So this video assumes you've already been warmed up. If you need to do another one of my videos first, like maybe the Sun Salutations one, that might be a good idea. But don't try this cold. You have to be warm and you should already have an understanding of how to do Wheel. You don't want to do your first wheel out of Wild Thing. So if you're not sure what wheel is, I will show it to you ever so quickly. So, hands planted, elbows to the sky, fingers planted, okay? Hair not trapped under fingers or hands. Press into the feet, not the toes. So if you press strongly into the feet, you should feel the legs activate and the pelvis get nice and light. Take a breath in, press into your feet and hands, so ground. Exhale, squeeze everything in towards the midline and zip up the front of your spine, protecting your low back. Inhale. Now things are good. Right? Okie dokie. So, wild thing is one of my favorite poses. Sometimes it can be tricky to teach because if you don't know the population of your class, you don't know if they're okay with it. So think of this tutorial also as a way to break down some fear of going backwards or turning around. So for me, I enter wild thing from a nice soft bendy position and then as I exhale I'll squeeze up from the pelvic floor and lift the right knee to the sky. Bend first and then I'll inhale and straighten, maybe shake things out. So from here I'll soften a little bit and I'll make sure I can see my foot underneath my left armpit. Once you can do that, you can start to follow it down to the floor, leaving this whole thing much less scary. Take weight off the right hand, maybe even taking it off the floor. So from here, you can inhale, take your hand down by your navel, and then as you exhale, start to rise up the front of the spine, taking a soft elbow on the left side. All right, so here I'm in wild thing. So what I want to do is I want to soften, maybe even drop the pelvis a little bit and start to pivot on my palm so I can start turning my hand. Now I saw my right hand come down the whole time. That was important. Now from here, if I want to come back, I again soften. As I exhale, I squeeze my low belly up and in. That's important if the low belly isn't squeezed. You're going to have some low back compression, so you got to be strong to make that transition. Okay, we can do it to the other side too. So as you inhale, and if you don't want to be off your mat, you can move. So I'll show you. Maybe I'll move a little bit to the left side of my mat to go to the right. Inhale. Squeeze the low belly. Lift the muscles up the front of the spine. Left leg to the sky. Inhale. And then look for your foot underneath your right armpit, soften, but press into your fingers, watch it come down, inhale, exhale, squeeze things together, make sure your support elbow is soft, inner elbow rolled forward, good, so from here, now this is my tricky shoulder, so I gotta get a little lower, bend, and flip, I gotta bend the arms first, I also the whole time, Watch this hand, okay? So I'll show you that one more time, not on the tricky side. We'll take it a little bit slower. So I'll get into wild thing a little faster. Take a nice breath down into the pit of your belly as you soften towards the earth. Exhale, squeeze and rise up. Now from here, make sure you don't have locked out limbs, especially the left arm. So as you Press into your fingers, and then squeeze up into your low belly. Start to open your hips. Look for your foot under your armpit. There it is. Take an inhale here, and then lifting the muscles up. It's important. You've got to lift the muscles up here. This arm never locks. I'm going to look for my right hand. I'm going to pivot on my left palm and turn my fingers more towards me. I'm going to rotate with bent arm. Look back. Right hand, left hand. Now, if this mat wasn't so sticky, I could actually pick
pivot the whole hand. But uh, that's one of the problems with the sticky mats. Very few problems except rotating basically from wild thing into wheel and then jumping through your hands. It can be kind of a pain if you hit the sticky mat. Just a little too soon. So that is your tutorial. Now, I'm telling you, you gotta be warm to do this. If you just did that and you need some counter stretches, it's important that you take a few before you just get out, turn off the video. Take some thread the needle here, right arm through. Try and keep the pelvis neutral so you're not type right or your hips. That's just a brief one. Take it longer, of course. Pressing into the opposite shin of the side you're twisting to in the floor here, maybe even half bind. Another nice thing to do, of course, is to counteract the back bending action. And then maybe a little child's pose. And I'll relieve the wrists a little bit. You can take the uh, top of your hands, pressed in, fingers down. You can even make fists with them. Rolling up. You can do this. Make little fists. Or just shaking them out. All right, so that is your tutorial for wheel and wheel from Wild Thing and Downward Dog into Wild Thing. So if you have any more requests, let me know. And again, if you did this video and you weren't warm and now you feel kind of, hmm, I want you. It's your own fault. But anyways, hope you enjoyed.